In this episode, I'm going to install uh, Microsoft Macro Assembler uh, version uh, 6 inside an MS-DOS virtual machine. In uh, previous videos, I've shown how to create an MS-DOS uh, 6.22 uh, virtual machine uh, using uh, Oracle VirtualBox. I also installed uh, Norton Commander, which uh, will be useful. And today I'm going to focus on the Microsoft Macro Assembler. So again, I'm using the archive.org website to look for uh, usable uh, disk images. Uh, I've already searched for Microsoft uh, MASM uh, 6. This is the short for uh, micro, Macro Assembler. And uh, we found a, a lot of uh, manuals here, uh, you can uh, read through them. Uh, there are different uh, software here, but this one uh, caught my eye. Uh, it says Microsoft Micro Assembler 6.0. I've opened it here, uh, and it's actually a seven disk set and mentions here disk one microsoft professional advisor one two three ms dos utilities ms os two utilities uh, we we won't need this one uh, microsoft programmers workbench and disk seven it's a setup so i'm guessing maybe uh, this should be uh, disk one as it's called setup uh, and it also mentions that it's backed up with uh, Flux Engine and both the Flux backup and the standard image are available for download within the zip. There are also a couple of uh, JPEG files and we can see them here and I always like when uh, there are uh, photos of the disks uh, because now we can see it's uh, from 1991. We can uh, take a look at uh, the other uh, disks. So, uh, on both disks so far it says for DOS and OS2 systems, but we are interested in uh, the DOS, of course. Uh, it also says disk format uh, 720 kilobytes okay um, so I've already downloaded them uh, you can uh, download the zip files there are actually uh, seven uh, zip files I have them uh, here uh, then I extracted them you need to extract each zip file in a separate folder because in each folder there will be uh, two files this uh, flux uh, that it was mentioned in the description we are not interested in this one and the img uh, which is uh, the floppy disk image uh, 720 kilobytes and uh, in all uh, folders the disk image is uh, named the same so that's why we need uh, separate folders because otherwise uh, the image will be overwritten. So uh, now I'm going to uh, the virtual machine, I'm going to start it. Okay, so it says it's powering up. Okay, and it started. But uh, at the moment, the image is not mounted, so I'm going back to the VirtualBox Manager, click on Settings, Storage, Floppy, choose Disk. Um, going in this mass directory, uh, and I will select Disk 1. Okay. going back to the virtual machine and let's see what's on the A drive so it, 
there are uh, two folders help samples remember I've previously installed uh, Norton commander so uh, it's easier to start Norton commander and I get this uh, graphical representation and we can see uh, indeed there are some subdirectories uh, so this weird extension so it's obviously not uh, disk one as I suspected so probably we need to insert first the setup disk so I pressed the right control to get out of the uh, virtual machine now I'm going back to the virtual box manager click on settings storage and I will choose uh, the one that's smart disk 7 Uh, just uh, selected it and going back here okay. uh, I will exit not on commander uh, do a dir again on the A drive uh, and indeed there is a setup.exe here and I'm going to execute this one so let's see Microsoft Mass 6.0 setup uh, enter continue so we have several options here uh, the first one install the microsoft macro assembler i'm going to press enter uh, please select the host operating system dos uh, MAS provides a new utility that enables ML.exe to run DOS extended. This new utility MLX.exe enables ML.exe to take advantage of any extra memory that is installed on your machine. Provided that you have an 8286 processor or better and you have an EMS or XMS driver installed. Uh, so uh, do you want to install yes the programmers workbench is an integrated mouse and window based development environment based on a full screen editor you can edit build run and debug your program without leaving programmers workbench as well as access online help for more information see chapter 3 install yes um, Programmer Workbench can be customized with alternate key assignments and macros. A set of key assignments that emulate the brief editor can be added to the tools.ini and so on. Install brief compatibility? No. Um, MAS provides a new command line driver, ML.exe, that assembles and links programs with a single command. Uh, Programmer's Workbench automatically executes ML or you can manually execute it from the command line. Setup always installs ML. Uh, if you want to use existing MAS 5.1 make files and batch files, you can install MASM.exe, uh, a small utility that translates MAS. Uh, 5.1 commands into ml.exe commands and then invokes the ml.exe drive uh, so install yes several documentation online help files are included with this release um, copy the documentation files yes uh, several sample assembler programs are included uh, copy sample programs yes uh, if you use a Microsoft mouse or a 100% compatible pointing device you should use the mouse.com file provided with this release this is the most recent version of the mouse driver and contains bug fixes and new features to install the mouse driver provided with mouse and the command mouse must be executed from auto exec part or uh, the command line before using Microsoft Code View, Programmer Workbench, or Quick Help. 
uh, mouse.com should be used instead of the mouse.sys device driver provided with all the version of Microsoft product. Um, copy the Microsoft mouse driver? Yes. Uh, so I'm not sure if it's going to work with this virtual machine, but anyway, just uh, have it copied and with. Uh, please specify the directory for bound executable files. All executable files that run in both DOS and OS to protect model will be copied to this directory. So it would be uh, on the C drive, uh, mass, bin, bin. So that's okay, I guess. Okay, another directory. Please specify the directory in which to place the include files for mass. So it would be mass include, okay. Uh, initialization files for programmer workbench and code view, okay. Help files, I'm guessing. Okay. Samples, uh, temporary files. Uh, it mentions here uh, they will be removed when they are no longer needed, but uh, just in case we should keep an eye on this folder. Okay, so uh, if you are set with your response, press enter to continue, otherwise, use arrows is to select the option to change and press enter. Okay, so no changes, enter. Please insert the disk labeled MS-DOS utilities disk in drive A, press enter. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure which one uh, would be this uh, MS-DOS utilities disk, uh, so maybe we can have a look here it says disk 4 so i'm guessing it should be in the disk 4 uh, directory so let's go to settings uh, floppy and choose uh, disk 4 Uh, please insert to this label Microsoft Programmer's Workbench Disk in Drive A. Okay, so let's see which uh, should be Disk uh, 6. Okay. So I'm going to choose Disk 6. Uh, please insert to this label Microsoft Advisor 1 disk. I remember this was uh, labeled as disk 1, so I'm going to select it. Microsoft Advisor disk 2, this I remember was uh, actually called disk 2. So again, going to select this one. Microsoft Advisor disk 3. Again, I remember this was labeled as disk 3. Setup has successfully installed uh, MASM 6.0. So there are some uh, notes here, uh, especially it adds the ZM option, but I'm not going to go into details about this one right now. So enter continue. Setup has created the following files to help you configure your system. So we have mass bin uh, new vars dot bat. It's a sample auto exec bat file that sets environment variables for use. Uh, this file can be run from the command line to set the environment before running mass, or it can be merged with an existing auto exec bat. 
Then we have CMS B new conf. C is a sample configs file that contains commands that should be copied into your configs file. If these commands are already set in your configs file, you should uh, use values at least as large as those in the sample file in your configs file. These files are for those only. Okay, so we should take a look at this and see what uh, they contain, but for now just uh, press enter to continue. Uh, there is also uh, this uh, file masminitools.pray is a sample file that contains various settings used to initialize programmers workbench. Okay, uh, in most cases you should rename this file to tools.ini or merge the contain directives into an existing file with that name. Okay, and uh, it also copied HIMEM sys, RAM drive sys, and smart drive sys to CMAS bin. Uh, and uh, it mentions HIMEM sys allows you to debug programs that approach 640k in size by using extended memory on machines with 286, 386, or 486 CPUs. To avoid possible conflicts, use RAM drive sys for memory disk emulation and smart drive sys for disk cache. Other disk emulation, disk caching programs may conflict with HIMMCs. And again, it mentions uh, new CompSys, which contains a sample entry showing how to install HIMMCs in your configs file. Uh, more information is located in installing and using the professional development system. Okay. Uh, so, um, We are back to the setup program. Um, it's already installed, so I guess uh, we should exit setup. But of course, we can see, uh, we can read some documentation. So exit setup. Okay, uh, so again, I'm going to start uh, Norton Commander. Uh, I'm going to the C drive. And we have here MASM. And uh, we can use ml.exe uh, on the command line. Pressing Ctrl O in uh, Norton Commander shows us behind uh, the windows. So ml.exe is uh, Microsoft Assembler version 6.0 and uh, we can uh, use it to manually compile uh, assembly files. So uh, I will not go into details uh, now uh, regarding the rest of the files. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye.